Hi, I'm Michael. Hi, I'm Ridley. And I'm John, and this is Lab 2 Incoherent Sources. So this is our setup for the angular distribution um, of sources. Um, here we're measuring intensity of sources by looking at them at different angles. So here you can see our data from our intensity measurements. Um, the first thing that you'll notice is our, our cosine curve, and closely followed by that is our LED curve. So this was really unexpected that the LED would be the closest to Lambertian behavior, but it was. Um, and then the other curves here, this purple curve, is our ambient. Um, this is important because you can see that it's actually angle dependent. It isn't just um, the same intensity over the angle values. And then this orange line with this jagged peak is our tungsten with diffuser. Um, we thought that this should be Lambertian, and in fact it should be according to theory because it's a matte source, but because the diffuser didn't cover the entire area of the filament, it gave us bad data, and so that's what that source of error is from. And then lastly, we have the regular tungsten source, which also does not follow Lambertian behavior. So for part C, we measured irradiance and illuminance for, the, for three different sources, the incandescent, the CFC, and the LED, and from these measurements, we were able to calculate the luminous efficiency. From these efficiencies, you can see that the LED is really efficient at 0.291 lumens per watt, and the incandescent and the CFC are a lot less efficient because they lose a lot of energy to heat. For this part of the lab, we are using a, a pyrometer to measure the temperature of a black body source, and the way this works is that there's a black body filament within the pyrometer, and if you change the amount of current flowing through it, it will emit in a different color. And you can compare that color to whatever source you're trying to measure in order to, deter in order to determine its uh, temperature. And this works because of Wien's law, which states that the peak wavelength of black body emission spectra changes uh, as you change temperature. Um, so that's what allows this to work. So here you can see a mercury gas lamp. It's grow glowing blue, um, and that's due to the fact that um, the actual electronic energy levels inside of this element mercury allow for very specific um, quantas of energy to drop when electrons are going back into their ground states. And so those wavelengths of light corresponding to those energy drops correspond to the spectral lines that you see coming through this spectrometer. Go. So our general consensus was that our favorite part of the lab was the gas tubes because it was cool to be able to see the different wavelengths and colors that each one emitted. And our least favorite part of the lab was when we used the diffuse tungsten, tungsten source and measured its irradiance uh, as a function of angle um, because the diffuse source or the diffuser did not block the entire uh, filament and it made it appear not Lambertian when we were expecting it to. The end. We're done. Nice. <laughs> Why are you